On beautiful summer days like this, I love light, fragrant cakes. So today I decided to make this beautiful, decadent, cloudy coconut cake. Um, the sponge is full of flavours of lemon and coconut and it's really light. And then on the outside, over the frosting, I'm just going to trickle raw coconut flakes all around it. So come join me in the kitchen. So to make my coconut cloudy cake, you'll need flour, unsalted butter, caster sugar or super fine sugar, coconut milk, lemon, bicarbonate of soda and baking powder, vanilla extract, lovely raw coconut flakes that smell like heaven, um, icing sugar or confectioner sugar, coconut oil and a little bit of butter as well for the icing. So first of all, I'm gonna put all my dry ingredients for the cake in here. So I need to weigh up my flour. Oh, the recipe for the cake is in the link below. So this is just plain all-purpose flour. Sieve it into my bowl. The reason why I'm sieving the flour is to get as much air as I can into the cake because I want it light and fluffy. And then next I put in a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I'm gonna put all my wet ingredients into this bowl. So I'm gonna crack in two eggs, coconut milk, lemon juice, a little bit of coconut oil, vanilla extract, and then some butter which I'm going to melt. So it's unsalted butter that I'm using. So I've melted in my butter. I'm going to whisk this together. So whisking the wet ingredients and then I'm going to blend them in then to the dry ingredients afterwards. Slowly, I'm just going to start adding the liquid into the dry ingredients. Oh, the smell of coconut is just gorgeous. So I'm going to divide it between my two cake tins. They're 20 centimetres each. And using an old butter wrapper and Grease my tin. It's a non-stick, so you don't need to put any baking paper in there or anything. So then I want to divide my batter between the two cake tins. Oh, it's so silky. You know when you have a batter that's like as light and fluffy as this? when it's at the batter and the dough stage, that when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be really nice. Not out any big bubbles. All it goes into the oven. So I'm gonna leave them bake gas mark four for 25 minutes. If you want all the measurements and the exact recipe, you'll find it in the link below. But while they're baking, I'm gonna make the frosting. This is a classic recipe for a frosting. So I've got my icing sugar, confectioner sugar, goes into the bowl. And then I'm putting in my unsalted butter. Blend them together. Then I'm gonna pour in a little bit of um, coconut flavored oil. And then some lemon zest. I'm gonna add in some lemon juice. The lemon juice will just really lighten you know, the frosting. You want the icing to be really fluffy, so really lovely light fluffy. It's gorgeous. A little flavour of coconut as well. But more lemon, which is good because I'm going to put this in the centre of the cake and then these are going to go all on the outside of the cake, which is, I wish you could smell them. And the difference between really good quality raw coconut flakes it actually really feels like you're just slicing it off a fresh coconut. So, my cakes are, yeah, they're ready. So I'm gonna put the cakes onto the rack in their tins for 10 minutes, then I'm gonna take them out of their tins and let them cool completely on the racks. 
So they've been cooling for 10 minutes in the tins. I'm taking them out of the tins. You want to do this carefully so that you don't get them sticking. So just give it a bit of give first. And then with a spatula, just remove it from the base. And then I need to leave it cool completely on the wire rack. So to assemble and ice the cake, I pop one of the cakes on first, upside down, balance up. I'm going to cream it with the frosting. So always think of the bite, you know? Yum. And then this goes on top. More of the icing all over the cake. Because then, once we have all the icing on, the icing basically acts like a glue and it's going to have this lovely, lovely, light, kind of cloudy effect to it. And then before I put on the coconut, I'm just going to double check. Let's go down a little bit. Just make sure I've creamed the frosting evenly everywhere. Because this also, of course, adds delicious flavour to the cake. One of the things I really do love watching on TV is people baking. I think it's quite relaxing, so I hope you're relaxing while you're watching. So next, my favourite part of this cake is putting the raw coconut flakes on top. And just press them in so that they stick onto the, the frosting. This is like the perfect summer's day cake. Isn't it like light and fluffy and a little bit of sunshine coming through the clouds? <laughs> My cloudy coconut cake. I love it. I hope you love it too. So I'll see you next Thursday and click to subscribe and let me know if you've baked the cake or if you've made any of the other recipes on my YouTube channel. Um, so let me know in the comments below or also let me know of any dishes that you'd like me to cook. We've got another few parts of the series so we'd love to know your feedback. Okay, lots of love. See you next week.